It is Saturday. Parents and elder brothers come with the small children for an hour of education about the monkeys at the forest entrance. The teacher, Gabriel, is good, so the young monkeys themselves sit down on the back benches to listen. Bachilanganga, black and white colobus monkey. 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 Black and white Inside the resource center, older school children get facts about the forest by another keep guide. He teaches simultaneously in three languages, English, Swahili and Luya, that's the local language. Later the same day, another keep member, Callistos, teaches the guides and staff how to use the sign language to communicate with deaf tourists. So the animals that are found in Kenya here, in Kakamega forest, you'll get them in Uganda forest and in Congo forest. If snakes are not there, will birds survive? Because we have some birds that feed on them on the snakes. And uh, if snakes are not there, how many rats will you have in your in our your compound? Uh, there will be many. Uh. Outside the house, female students from a teacher's college learn about butterflies and snakes from Wilberforce Okeka and other keep experts. Tusema kama for example tukiwa kama na hii slime stemora na unataka kufanya breeding sasa mbaka uelewe ni food plant aina gani So you will see that the butterflies also play a very big role in conservation uh, because like breeding the butterflies it will also help to conserve the, the, the plants and also like uh, uh, conserving the plants it will also help the butterflies also to be there. So now when it reaches this stage it's where you can sell the pupas to whoever wants the species that you have bred. So we have people who are interested in the butterflies of the Kamega forest and yet they are not found in that place. So in by education is also you can earn a living from the butterflies that you rear in your house. After two years. <laughs> but that is not all. During weekdays, keep education team here with trainees from other countries walk the roads around the forest to reach different schools to show conservation videos. The schools have no electricity nor TV, so keep's own TV set is in the cart. The DVD player is carried and the generator comes later on a bicycle. We have over 440 different species of butterfly and you get that uh, with butterflies, it's not easily identified. You need to, it's not like a bird, you need to trap it. The video showing is a success. The school kids respond by performing a local dance for the keep guests.
Now about the projects. They help both the forest and the rural society around it. In the projects, KEEP cooperates with other local and international organizations like Cabicutua, Mulido Farmers Conservation Group and ISIPE. In addition to the educational projects, there is a long list of conservation and income generating projects. Tree nurseries, butterfly farming, Mondia growing, botanical garden, Ossiman growing, energy saving projects, health projects, a snake farm, tourism services. The rainstorm from Lake Victoria is building up over Kakamega rainforest. In the near future, when the globe is warming up, there will probably be more rains here. Nobody has calculated what exactly will happen to this forest then. But there are thousands of examples from other parts of the world. If trees are cut down and fallen dead trees are used as firewood, then the thin layer of good soil will be still thinner and poorer and cannot support new trees. With no tree cover, the soil will be washed away by erosion and landslides, triggered by downpour and floodings. In Nandi Escarpment, just northeast of the forest, there have already been deadly landslides. When forests are destroyed in other parts of the world, the tourists stop to come, the farming gets poor, the economy is going down, there are more disasters, and the population suffers. But my friends, you and I, we want our children to have a good life. Therefore, we all know in our hearts that it is important to keep Kakamega rainforest alive. <laughs>